Hey y'all, so I have a new video for, not new video, a new book review for y'all. This is the 23rd book I've read so far this year, 2015, and I'm pulling it up on my Kindle phone thing, Nemo Baba, right now, so give me a second. This book was called Invisible, and who was it by? Billy Ann Peterson? I don't know. But yes, this is the front cover, let it focus in. This was a story about a deaf girl who, when she was a young child, her father committed suicide, and it put, set her mother into a deep depression. It set her into a deep depression. She just felt she, her, since her father had died and committed suicide, her mother had constantly moved her a lot from school to school. She never made friends. She thought it was easier to be invisible. When she'd come home from school, she'd just take her hearing aids out and just sit in her room. And that, with her hearing aids out, she was basically invisible in her old mind. She just wasn't happy. She didn't have friends. And then at this one new school, she started hanging out with these mean girls who she thought were her friends, but in reality, they were just using her to like, hey, go get my lunch from the lunch line for me. And she'd do it because she thought that's what friendships was about. And in reality, it wasn't a good friendship in the least bit. They ended up getting her into serious trouble when they decided to go trash a teacher's classroom and break everything. And they got caught. All the other girls got suspended, but the teacher gave her a chance and said, you have to help me with my play I'm doing. So she's working like backstage in the play, doing props and costumes and helping out wherever needed, filling in for people when they can't perform. And the teacher realizes she's a super good actress. So as she becomes friends with the kids on the cast, she ends up meeting a boy who's very, very friendly and making a good group of friends, true friends that care about her in every way imaginable. Eventually, slowly, she starts to open up to them little bits, and then by the end of the book, when things unravel, they know everything about her. Um, her boyfriend is lovely. He sticks with her through, through it all, When she, because growing up, her mother did not tell her her father had committed suicide, so she finds that out through the grapevine, and he's just helpful, sticks through it, very supportive. And as the teacher finds out she's very good at acting and the main actress has to drop out of the play, she gets the main role in the play. And she just blossoms into this beautiful character. The character development in this book is fantabulous. I give this book 4 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a cheap book or a free book on my Kindle, I don't remember. It was very good. It was a great standalone contemporary novel. Great for the summer. I love standalone contemporaries for the summer it's when they're on my kindle like this i just read them like driving down the road and stuff at doctor's appointment right now i'm babysitting so when the kids are still asleep i'm like reading on my kindle so that's how i read this book and i'm so glad i had it i absolutely love this book i gave it four out of five stars just because it was a standalone and i like books that have series and keep going i'd love for this book to have like a sequel to it but as of right now it's just a standalone and I'm kind of excited to read something else from this author. I, I just really like the storyline, and I feel like this is a good author. So I'm super excited about that, and that is basically it. I'm just so happy it's summer, and I have time to read. Ah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys next time on TJ Smiles. Bye!